So a master suite is important in any house we do. And it's no different in this one, especially with the lovely Amy and Bay Han that we really want to impress. So we're going to have to use our design smarts to turn it into something special and somewhere they really want to escape to. We would love to move their master suite into the large raked ceiling room, but we're not sure how we'll connect an ensuite to that. Where are we putting it? Because I know mm. we've took raked ceiling room. The bond's looking at that as an option, but it, I don't. It's not going to work. Yeah, I think the most cost effective and the best result we'll, we'll get for living spaces and wet spaces is to stick with the bones that we have. It's all cosmetic in this master suite. It mm. is, and that's it. That's exciting and challenging all at once because there's a lot of pressure on you in mm. terms of styling and yeah. design and. and, and paint. Yeah. Mm. Mm. yeah. Good luck with that. Yeah. Let me know if you need some ideas. <laughs> when we walked in here and I thought, okay, what can we do? And, and I looked at the budget and I thought, we don't need to do anything. All I need to do is style this. So the bed will pretty much remain here, like smack bang yeah. in the middle of the room. Yeah. But from the bed, I'm going to build a bench seat uh, here to here. And then once it gets to here, this is going to be like a little table that you sit at, mirror to do your makeup. So it's kind of creating something out of nothing. Yeah. And then the only thing I will do is see the walk-in robe. So I will bring this back to there. So to there. Yeah. And the same on the other side. Yep. And then I think what I'll do here is hang some beautiful shears. And one thing is the curtains are definitely cheaper than cabinet fronts. Oh, so much cheaper. They're soft, they're beautiful, they're whimsical. Um, I totally agree. Yeah, I think it's just the right decision here. Absolutely. So the current master suite is a pretty good size. It's five metres wide, so we've got some space to work with, but it's really boring. It doesn't feel special. It doesn't have any character. So that's going to be our challenge. How do we make this room feel extra special for Amy and Behan? So pretty good size for an ensuite, yeah, hey? And I like the... We're not changing it. Yeah, we've not done this check for I like it. I just feel like this is about putting in new cabinetry, new tiles, leaving everything where it is, and that's it. That only one acreage, like you, where it's like, whatever. But if I was, even myself being the confident gal I am, if you're naked up here at night, to be honest, no, no uh, one's really not, looking at you. Yeah, but you don't feel comfortable. I think you want to have some window covering. Yeah, true. That only one acreage, like you, where it's like, whatever. Yes. I'm just thinking, you know how the shutters either need to be boxed out or sit in? Yeah, these will because have to be this, boxed out. They have to be boxed out. And I guess it's just how far. How far and making sure, like at the moment, it's nice how they kind of flush there. If that boxes out a bit, for you guys to realise that when you have the when you have the wind out window, you have to have shutters that sit a little further out to accommodate your wind up. But no, look, I love everything running along one wall. Yeah, it's it's a favourite design. Yeah, and this is all light and it's fresh. Beautiful. And so with the ensuite, we're going to keep it where it is, but totally renovate it, make it feel brand new, and bring in a lot more light. Now, girls, with the stairs, are we resolved that they're just going to stay as they are and just cosmetic renovate? Yeah. yeah. But yeah. they are dark and dingy. Mm -hmm. And so the question is what flooring we do on them. So this will all be um, floorboards. Yeah. Okay. And what about this balustrade? Purely cosmetic as well. I'm painting it. <laughs> it uh, it's a little bit, you know, this is like, do I, what do they call it? Barre? Or bar 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 Double bar -ray. With the current staircase, it's in an okay location, but it's really dark as a lot of old staircases are. So we're going to have to find a way to lighten and brighten it up. And then we have the ensuite. Yep. Mm -hmm. We'll have shutters that come across here. Um, and obviously we've got the windows. Centred exhaust fan. Yep. Down lights um, in here are literally the two would they go bang bang yep. here. Pendant light here. Key for me with power points is we always try to hide, hide them. them. Yep. And the best way to hide them is to stick them on the side of the vanity. Yeah, that's right. This door opens middle, like open no, up like that, so or one side. Door goes like that. Alright, so hallway. But the pendant light with the wall washing, oh that might be a bit much. That's like an overkill. Yeah, That's like wearing um earrings and necklace. Yeah, you gotta accessorize. Can't do that. Can't. Well, I don't do that. Can I just ask, what's a wall washing anyway? Imagine I'm a light right now, you ready? It comes up. Yeah. Yeah. the flower just went out yeah. like that. Blooming, yes, yeah. okay. Right. So that's a wall wash, so that goes there. I've got a Renault school tip here and it's in relation to timber balustrades. 
the best thing to do with these balustrades, which is in many, many um, suburban homes, just paint it white. Once these guys get a coat of white paint on them, and once you've got your flooring done and your walls painted, they look absolutely amazing. So we've used the Secura yep. by James Hardy here. Why didn't you just use the particle board? So you waterproof this area yeah. and you get a leak behind the wall like your shower's leaking In or something. Time. That leak can get underneath the waterproofing membrane and that flooring will just disintegrate. As this will just stay how it is, it, it can get wet. The next step is we're going to line these walls with the James Hardy uh, villa board. Yeah. Um, and then we can uh, we can get the waterproofer in. Yeah. And he's going to waterproof this whole area. And then we're ready for the tiler. And then the fun stuff starts. This reno is quite different to our most recent renovations. And it's really jumping back to be more similar to the first couple that we did. So it's actually almost truly a, um, you know, genuinely a cosmetic renovation. We're changing every surface, every fixture, every, every fitting. So a Renault school tip, when you're designing your master suite, please think about how you're going to live and move around the space. Really have a think about where you need your power points where you want your bed to position. And the one big thing I would say is to decide what storage you need in your space and where it's gonna go. What we've done here is open up the doorway. Now what I love the most about this space is the light. It's just one of my ultimate dreams when I do my house one day is to get the best light I can into my bathroom. And I find that's either directly behind you, the light coming in onto the mirror, or windows either side of the mirror. That's where you're gonna get the best light. to choose from. And so are they in ranges at the moment or so styles? What we've got here is a selection of all different types of the same thing essentially. So yeah. we've got all different styles of three piece and mixer tapware. Something we're looking for for this home. It's that more traditional Hampton yep. feel with the chrome. You've got either the porcelain lever handle. Yeah. You've got cross handles or you can get it with chrome levers as well. Okay. Just depending on, on what you want to go sure. with for the style of the property. I like this one. Yes. yes. And chrome tends to be quite hard wearing as well. Mm -hmm. It's not something that's going to date anytime yeah. soon. It's and interesting to see though, this is so versatile because um, this is a bit more of a modern look, isn't it? It is. Yeah, you've got the traditional tapware. So yeah. I think the vanities will have a look at a few others, but certainly this tapware. Okay, fantastic. Have Let's have there? a look at another one of our Kato vanities, yeah, the Kato sure. Eros. So I know that we have it here with black handles. Oh, yes. But the great thing is they're made to order. So we can okay. get it with chrome handles or yeah. any other colour you like. All right. With the V-groove and, and yeah. the, the framing, it really does um, have that traditional feel yeah. to it. And like you said, you can switch these out so we can go with the chrome to match. Definitely. Yeah, beautiful. And in regards to storage, storage, you've got all of the storage that you need for a family yeah and you can sit things in here as well oh yeah that will be full won't it i will give you that brochure to take home yeah the great thing is this has got a picture of the vanity that we've um, picked yeah. with the tapware that we've picked so what have we got we've got four different tiles i can see here yeah so we've got the little finger tiles oh, yeah i just love them aren't they freaking amazing i didn't know tile client had such beautiful tiles like this yeah the sort of handmade sort of yeah old-fashioned looking feels like it's been kind of forever as well. That's what we want the whole house to feel yes, like. Yeah. Which is gorgeous. Are these marble? Um, no. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. They look totally like marble. The bathroom tiling is beautiful. It's it is very, um, it's, there's lots of pattern in it, you know, porcelain tiles and things like that that look like marble, far more cost effective. They look like freaking Carrara marble. Do you know that I actually like them better? I and I like in this bathroom how we've combined that with gloss. Like yeah. those finger tiles are super gloss, man. And then these are really nice. And Why didn't they do that? No, matte I just, wanted, just wanted the contrast. Yeah. Divine. And you know what? The gloss shows all the bumps. Yeah. 
It does. It's like when you've got a shiny face, you can see all your um, like me, I've got no makeup on today. Yeah, Bonnie has no makeup on today. Right. But it's that feeling of kind of having that pattern and colour, but then just all of it being brought back down with this gorgeous light marble. So we're, we're going silver tapware in this house. Here is like this huge, like um, intricate old fashioned tapware that you used to see in the old days with like white handles. Oh. Stunning. And it's big and it's beautiful from Reese. And then obviously we'll have the shower screen coming here. Yeah. yeah. White shutters from Lux of Flex yeah, here. Yeah. Yeah. Toilet here. Really yeah. kind of slim line, beautiful yeah. toilet here. And then vanity. The vanity that we've chosen um, as well is pre-made kind of vanity. Wall hung or standing on the floor? This stands on the floor yeah. and it looks like a table. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and that's perfect for this style of bathroom. Yeah. Here. And hey, I am so happy to see a niche. <laughs> I mean, look, it's not big. You could maybe fit one value bottle of Pantene in there. You could fit shampoo and conditioner. Okay, there. shampoo and conditioner, I'll yes. give you that. It's mm -hmm. cute, but that's all you need. Yeah, that's it. The walls in the master suite are a real opportunity for us to do something special. And we're talking timber mouldings to really make that room feel unique and just a sanctuary for the parents to get away to. So this was just a boring blank wall in a bedroom, nothing going on. But we are now bringing lots of character to it using timber mouldings from Intrim. So this pattern here that our builder has just installed a few minutes ago, it's got a piece of timber on the top, this piece in the middle, and then the same piece underneath. And what goes with these timber mouldings are the skirting boards from Intrim, which if you just look down here, you can see we've got this skirting board already on. This piece of timber moulding has already been cut to size and just needs to be put on on top here. But they all work together to bring character to this wall. I'm super glad to see these cords hanging out here because it means that we have not forgotten to rough in lighting for stairs. And we don't do stairs very often, um, but me living with a mega staircase, I know the importance of having your stairs well lit at night. Very good girls. I'm very happy that we didn't forget those. Definitely when the carpet is in, you know you're really close to the end of your reno because you don't want to put your carpet in too early and then have it get trashed with more painting and more tradies, God love them, and even ourselves creating a mess. So we're on the home stretch. And the carpet we chose for this house is from Godfrey Hurst. It's called their Eco Plus range. So it's a special fibre created called Triexter. It's stain resistant. And this range is called the Soft Embrace range, of course, because it is so cushy. And the colour is White Lotus. It lasts for ages and you can um, just wash it down with water. So if you do spill something, it really just sits up on the fibre. It doesn't get absorbed the way natural fibre would. So that is perfect for a family household. Um, I hope they have a shoes off policy like I do. So the ensuite's coming together. If ever you're doing a Hamptons home and you're not sure what tap wear, this style you cannot go wrong with. With these gorgeous little white tips, chrome is such a winner for a Hamptons look. And we just put in this um, this cute little vanity that comes already done like this from Reese, and it's all you need in an ensuite. So not everyone loves an open ensuite like me. Mm. We are putting shutters in that will stack to here, and you can close them. Really? Yeah. That is so awesome. You approve. Mm -hmm. Big time. I love yeah. it. What made love you do it. that? Who really likes the look of the shutters right. yeah. with it? Nothing to do no, with any of Bay Hounds. Practicality. Yeah, practicality. No. no. Yes, oh, shutters yes. on that window yeah. for Lux Flex. Yeah. And so it's all going to be very, oh, can you imagine when all the shutters go in? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, and it's so Hamptons. Oh. So white bed linen, beautiful, just give yes. her a fold back. So stripe. stripe first. Then I'm going to bring these over. Because we love mixing patterns. This is what this bed is about, it's about mixing patterns. Then we're going to go with some height. So we're going to go the Euro next. 
This is so interesting. I would have put the Euros first. I know. This is so different. I don't think they teach that in the interior design world, Bonnie. Well, I'm pretty sure it's probably wrong then. <laughs> but it's fabulous. I've never noticed it till we're making it now. I think it looks perfect. Then we're bringing in that linen raw yeah. colour again, just to dirty this whole white space just up like now. That? Yep, just like that. Oh, just like that. I got it right first time. stairs bond was such an easy reno in the end. Hi. Look, I think staircases are just so easily transformed if you've got an yep. old traditional staircase with paint. Add art, add a pendant, Bob's your uncle, it's easy, it's done. And then the little beacon stair lights. Mm. They're great. It just modernises it. And it and takes you up, 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 up to the amazing master suite. The master suite, you know, that needed a complete revamp. I knew we weren't changing the size of it, but we needed to still make it beautiful, so it was just about detailing. In trim. They were our <laughs> saviour. They made those walls look unbelievable. Building a bench seat with a little makeup table, a dress table that, mm. you know, is quite gorgeous. The bed head, the Florence Broadhurst bed head. Okay. The pillows and the cushions yeah. that come off that. We didn't change the wall size or the room structure as such, but what we did was open up the walk-in robe. We opened up the ensuite mm -hmm. as far as we could, and that does visually create space in that room. We've got yeah. the beautiful linen curtain that hangs down you know, with the gold shell from Target that we manipulated into a holder. And the curtain just sits beautifully behind it. What's key when you have a long skinny en suite is kind of put everything on one side of the wall to yes. make it seamless. And then having just the piece of glass which you walk around to chow just makes mm. it look as big as possible mm. for yes. a pretty skinny en suite. The before and afters of that are quite remarkable. Window. I can't yeah. even remember what yeah. it looked like. It, it felt you, you, short, it yeah. felt tiny, it felt small. That yes. doesn't feel tiny or small at all. Mm. And the beautiful Luxaflex bifold shutters. And there's so much beautiful light that comes through the windows window. on that side mm. of the room. Yeah. And I love the tile cloud little finger tiles, finger tiles and they're, all their imperfections. We always talk about, you know, the perfect imperfect. It looks like a bathroom that's been there forever mm -hmm. but has never aged and it's just beautiful. Now the in trim upstairs in the master suite, I think it's different to anything we've done before. They don't have a border around them, they're no. not the traditional style of panelling but mm -hmm. I love how it's a bit different. Pretty much just creating They're boxes. like crosses. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Crosses. Or not crosses. Not devil. That's a cross. <laughs> not devil. That's also a cross. <laughs> Jesus died on the cross. Oh okay true. Yeah. <laughs> And we saved some money in the walk-in robe by not getting an expensive cabinetry fit out. I think it was literally the most cost-effective way we could have done what we did. We couldn't spend everywhere, no one ever can, and we had to save with the wardrobe. I think it's pretty obvious in this space. The colour me Hamptons is the Florence Broadhurst bed head, yes. the cushions, cushions, and obviously the tile cloud pattern tiles. And I think it is so fresh. <laughs> As James fresh. Charles would say, it's fresh. <laughs> it's fresh. <laughs>the most controversial would be that fifth bedroom. It's not a traditional bedroom door. Why not? Because it's not a traditional bedroom. Everyone delivering what they say they're going to do on time. I'm convinced that the wall in that space has to be removed. And I said, Bon, I really don't think so. Let the lounge room be a lounge room. No bed, no wardrobe and no doors. And you're still going to call it a bedroom.